Hi everyone. So today we are going to the drive-in theater. Well, we're already here, but uh, I thought it would be fun to go to the drive-in theater because we wanted to watch the movie Evil Dead Rise. And I feel like the best way to watch a horror film is at the drive-in. It was kind of a thing we were doing when the pandemic was at its peak and we didn't want to go into the theaters. I mean, the theaters were closed anyway, but the drive-ins were still open. So here we are. We're going to go watch Evil Dead Rise and I'm I'm gonna try not to puke because I heard there's a lot of disgusting imagery, so hopefully nothing too gross. I don't know, I don't trust it. It's evil dead. Yeah. Groovy. So we're currently at Target because we're gonna pick out some snacks for the drive-in. It's like hard to pick out which one I want. <laughs> but I'm trying to keep it specifically to like what I would have eaten in the theater back when I was like a kid in the 90s. I really don't remember. <laughs> What kind of snacks did I like as a kid? I know I liked peach rings. I just think about what was popular then. I know. It's like, we pick out a candy, a savory snack, and a drink. Surprisingly, none of us actually picked up candy. We were just like looking at all the savory snacks and I was like, oh. Okay, so I'm realizing that it looked suspicious that I pushed the other box of Cheez-Its away and that's because it was on a buy one get one half off deal and I wasn't trying to take both of them with us. But uh, so I picked out Cheez-Its and Teddy Grahams and then I also found, I was thinking about it because I'm like, remember those like circus animal cookies that were in that box? And it was the Barnum Animals crackers. I was like, I need to have because I totally remember eating these as a kid. But for sure, I'm probably not gonna eat all this at the drive-in, <laughs> especially because we're gonna go watch a horror movie and sometimes I lose my appetite, so it might be a problem. But uh, we also got Capri Sun because, I mean, 90s kids staple. Liquid cool. What snacks did you pick? I picked out two things. I picked out the Ritz peanut butter, Sandwiches. Wait, like, peanut butter and what? Is it just peanut butter? Yeah, yeah it's peanut butter and cracker sandwiches. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Just simple snacks, but, and it would be a bit stereotypical oh. of my channel. <laughs> so, like, I got some kind of candy, but it's, no, it's just the Mario gummies. I just saw it, and, and I think it was last box, too. Oh. No, the movie's out, so everybody's grabbing these. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what I did. So, Joseph bought the tickets online for the both of us. And it was nine bucks a person, which isn't bad. So our total was 2050 for the two of us because they have a service fee, which it's like anytime you buy anything online nowadays, there's a service fee, but it is surprisingly cheaper than the regular movie theaters, which I like. And then you get to bring in your own snacks and you're in your car and you know, you get the fresh air too. So win-win for me. Packing everything up in our mystery machine cooler because Like super early we're at least like over an hour early but that's the only way you could get a decent spot because we're like right front and center hopefully nobody gets in front of us but it's it happens I, usually people don't come this far though because there's like lines on the ground that kind of let you know where the barriers are and like where cars can drive through if they decide they want to quit the movie and peace <laughs> out <laughs> and uh yeah yeah. We've seen people do that. Yeah, we have seen people do that. So we're here. We might walk around just a little bit just to maybe show you guys some of the stuff that they have here. Oh, 
cool thing about this drive-in, there's a little arcade where you go get your snacks and stuff. It's a little tiny one, but it's so cute. So we're currently outside of the food and arcade area. They have a little place called the patio because sometimes they'll do performances here. They do have like a flea market that they'll do in the morning. I think it's on the weekends. I didn't double check, but yeah, that's what that is. And then out here is also where the bathrooms are if you need to go. It's kind of hidden in the back, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Use your flashlight once it gets dark because even I've had trouble finding the way through here. <laughs> I think they have some lights to go on during the, the the nighttime. Yeah, but I mean, if you're trying to dodge cars and stuff, yeah. you want to make sure that you're seen, especially if you're wearing dark clothes like I am. Yeah. Speaking of clothes, I kind of dressed comfortably because if you're going to be sitting in the car or some people have their picnic chairs or picnic blankets, they sit outside on the floor or the bed of their truck, you want to be comfortable. I mean, it's not really anything to get super fashionable about. It's all about comfort here. Yeah. I'm slightly concerned that we might not be at the right screen because there are way too many children here yeah. right now. Like, there are children playing in front of us right now and I'm just like, y you know what movie this is, right? I mean, I'm all for like introducing your kids to the horror genre when they're young, but with stuff like Goosebumps yeah. and Are You Afraid of the Dark not and Ghost, this. you know, like, like the tame stuff. And then once they get older, you know, work themselves up to this but uh I, I guess we're all for uh, scaring the kids if you want to give your kids nightmares <laughs> i guess okay <laughs> i wonder if they thought because there's kids in this movie they thought oh it's okay to take kids to this movie oh oh no they think it's like a mother's day film not that kind of mother's day film this uh this is a mommy about to traumatize the kids type of film yeah. Just wanted to show you how I sit usually in the car. So what I do is I'll recline the seat all the way to the back. Luckily Joseph's car does that where you can like go all the way to the back. Some of the chairs, like I know in other cars don't do that, but I do that because I mean, it's more comfortable. And I usually sit like cross-legged like this and I have my blanket with me because you never know if it's gonna get hot or cold or the weather in California is very weird right now. It's like super hot during the daytime, but as soon as it gets dark, it's like freezing temperatures and you're like, okay, I should have wore more layers, <laughs> but it's starting to get dark now and our movie's about to start and there's a lot of children still running around. <laughs> I hope they meant to go see the Mario movie and yeah. not this. <laughs> they might have to leave in like about 15 minutes. I'm seriously wondering if a bunch of parents here think that they're here for the Mario movie. Like that's at a different screen. That's not Mario. I'm already breaking into my snacks because it got really dark all of a sudden. <laughs> it was like super fast. I always underestimate how fast the sun goes down, but yeah, I got the cheese it snack mix by the way. So there's like pretzels and stuff in here. It's like the perfect mix of just salty foods. The screen just turned on. So we're just trying to get it onto the radio station that it's supposed to have. Yeah. 99.5. Yeah. Ooh, exciting! Ah. Okay. Our screen is currently still showing a bunch of trailers, but I am so distracted by this other screen right now because they're showing the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> and I'm like, ooh, but uh, here to watch the spooky stuff. We'll yeah. save that for another time. The movie's about to start. We're just gonna chill, have our snacks, me trying not to get all nauseous because <laughs> the visuals are probably gonna be a lot, but it's gonna be, gonna be lots of fun. It's gonna be groovy. Groovy. One hour later. Okay, so 
that was that. That was a movie. It's definitely an Evil Dead movie. Warning, if you have emetophobia or the fear of vomiting, it's probably not the film for you. I already knew that there was gonna probably be a lot of that, so I went in prepared and I was like, yeah. okay, just look away from the screen. Luckily, uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie was playing <laughs> right next to us, so I kept looking at that screen every time there was like a... Something that was really grossing yeah, you out. Scene. No, like, I mean... Yeah, like I guess the, that in particular. Yeah. It wasn't... Well, I don't know. I, the visuals were kind of scary, but like it wasn't scary to me. I feel like, yeah, I feel like some of it was scary, but it was definitely like the pacing maybe was a little slower than maybe you're used to. Yeah, it was okay. I don't know. But definitely gory. Yeah, it is an really evil dead film. Gory. Yeah. All in all, I still love going to the drive-in theater. I feel like everyone should experience it at least once in their life. If you have a drive-in theater next to you or anywhere nearby, go check it out, especially if there's a horror movie playing because that's my favorite type of experience when I go to a drive-in theater. I feel like horror movies and drive-ins just, they go hand in hand with each other. I don't know what it is. And especially if you have like a really good sound system, and you have the bass boosted, it's just, there's like another element of spookiness added to it. So I would like to know, what movie would you guys like to go see at the drive-in theater? For me, I feel like I'd wanna go see the original Evil Dead movie with Bruce Campbell because, <clears throat> I mean, you know, it's, it's a very scary movie. The plot is very great and you know, <laughs> I love Bruce Campbell, okay? He's a very handsome man. He's got that amazing chin. Joseph is filming this right now and he does not look happy behind that camera. <laughs> I've heard you say all this before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's one of my celebrity crushes. But yeah, the original Evil Dead film and I feel like the very first Godzilla that came out in the 50s. <laughs> like that would be super cool to watch at the drive-in theater but yeah what would you like to go see at the drive-in theater let me know down below or not it's up to you i'm not forcing anyone to do anything here you don't have to michael but we'll see you guys on the next adventure bye hi <laughs> <laughs>